What's up, YouTube? We're back for another episode of this beautiful day. Today, I'm gonna hit up Dynamic Fitness, New West, British Columbia, and what can you complain on a day like today, right? So we're gonna go in there, we're gonna hammer some shoulders, and we'll catch you guys in there. What's going on, everyone? So, hope you're all doing well, and today we're hitting up a shoulder workout, and I feel like I haven't got a good one of these for a while. So, we're gonna start out with warming up, as I usually like to start these. Warming up with these rotator cuff. With the 10 pound dumbbell, these rotator cuff exercises here, just to strengthen those muscles in the back of the shoulder, just to make sure everything's healthy and warmed up and ready to go. So, we did two sets of that, and then we moved on to shoulder press, and I did about, this is about my fourth set of shoulder press, and I worked up to 75 pounds here, so I'm not that heavy, but it was a good set. I got about six reps here, and felt good. And as you guys can see here, all this yellow, it's kind of weird. I'm not many in many gyms where all the painting is yellow like that, but a different dynamic, so I didn't mind it. Then I moved on to this kind of row machine they had here, and they had these matrix row machines, and it was not bad. Good squeeze in the back of my rear delts, so I tried to go wide grip, and I tried to bring my elbows back and just squeeze it in the rear del delts. Then I moved on to the superset of side raises, and I believe these were 35, no, sorry, 45 pound dumbbells I used here. So this was my last set I did these. And then right after I finished these full lateral raises, I picked up 60 pound dumbbells and I did partial lateral raises. And I know a lot of people saying, no, that's not good form, this, that, the next thing. But after you do a set on lighter and then you do a set heavier like this, it just really burns out those side delts and really, really gets the blood into those side delts, which we're all after, right? So right after I finished that, I moved on to these cable one-arm side races, and I've always been a fan of these exercises, and what I like about this gym is, in a lot of gyms, the cables are hard to get on, but at this gym, it's not bad. It was easy enough to get on there and jump right on. So as soon as I was done that, I moved on to these upright rows with the cable and I was just using the same cable and just changed the handle to the straight bar and immediately went on to these upright rows. So I don't usually do upright rows either, but I always like to change things up and I always try to promote people to never, don't do the same thing. Whatever you're feeling, change things up, change things up from week to week, from week to week, from workout to workout, just to work everything and keep the muscles guessing. So that worked the rear delts. And that concluded my shoulder portion, and then I went on to triceps. And first I started off with just the basic rope tricep push down. Then I turned right around as soon as I was done these, and I moved on to tricep extensions. And like I said about the cables before, it's a lot of gyms. I find it's a very tough time to get cables, but this had two different sections for them. Earlier I was in the main weight section, and then this was kind of an aerobic section in another portion of the gym and I'll show that later on in the later on in the video but yeah so I really enjoyed that then as soon as I was done this superset for my last exercise I moved on to one arm reverse grip cable push downs and like I said this is not always something I do but I said why not At the end of my workout another great squeeze and just something to change things up a little bit so I was really happy with the way this went, and I got a great workout in there. It was a nice environment, everyone was nice. Um, then we're going to move on to the pictures and the ratings here. So, as you guys can see here, Dynamic Health and Fitness, this is attached to New West Skytrain Station, so right on the Skytrain, which is convenient for a lot of people. The infrared sauna, the tanning, the aerobics room, another pick of the aerobics room here. They have plenty of cardio equipment, some pretty good weight sections, pretty good weight section. I mean, not the best. For how big the the gym is, it is pretty well equipped with some pretty good hammer strength machines, dumbbells up to 100, all that sort of thing. So moving on to these ratings, and once again, I felt like I kind of haven't done this for a while, so the last couple of videos I made, I am going to jump right into the ratings here. So first off, I'd like to start off with the hours. So the hours, right off the bat, I give it a 6.5 out of 10. And as you guys can see there, right there, it is 5.30 to 9.30 on weekdays and 7.30 to 5.30 on weekends, which I'm not sure is not the best. A lot of gyms are much better than that, so I rounded off, I gave it the 6.5 because 
you know, 5.30 for a lot of people on weekends is pretty early. And even on weekends end at 9.30, I like my gyms to be open to 11, maybe even 12. But everybody's different, and for a lot of people, that works. So next, I moved on to the price. And the price had two different options, as I've been told. So I like to drop this little sheet for you guys here and $49.50 to join on the VIP, which is month to month and then $35 per month. And then if you're going on the long-term commitment, it is $24.50 to join and then $29 a month and then $25 after 24 months. So not a bad gem for what the price is. There's definitely a lot worse out there. So not going to knock the price too much, 8 out of 10. Equipment, 7.5 out of 10, like I said, dumbbells up to 100. The ladies only section is real nice. The aerobics section, all that. Definitely, definitely good enough to get a great workout in. So, gave it a 7.5 out of 10. Cleanliness upkeep, 8.5 out of 10. I really like the staff there. They did a really great job. They kept everything clean, up kept, and just machines were working well, and all the rest of it. So, atmosphere, I moved on to a 7.5 out of 10 because not the, not the most hardcore or kind of hardworking atmosphere, but like I said, for a lot of people, that's not what they're after. A lot of people go there. They want a clean, they want a friendly environment, and this place gives you all that. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I've been kind of looking at the analytics a little bit, and kind of been thinking about things, and it's been crazy what my Planet Fitness video took off, and there's just been debates going back and forth about that video, so if you guys haven't checked that out yet, please check that out, and uh, if you haven't yet, please like and subscribe, and we'll catch you guys next time.